Hi folks, it's me again, and what you see here is a Sega Genesis Model 1. It's a pretty pretty old one, I think it's from the release year, and yeah, that's what a German Paul version looks like. Here is the Mega Drive, set of Genesis, and here you can see it's one of real real early versions here, high definition graphics, stereo sound, and also you can see here in on the back there's this little plug here which looks a bit like the original controller port so that was for the Sega model the Sega model was only released in Japan and it was like you had to need the game for it you had to have the game for it and it was yeah you could play online in the, back in the 90s early 90s and yeah the, only, the servers only last to 92 from 90 to 92 and I think that was a pretty cool thing back then you to have online gaming and downloading games from the internet and it just worked with your normal telephone cable and pretty nice thing so that here the RF out everybody knows and RGB SCART may not so many people of you know SCART SCART is an European it's like yeah pretty big and you have much better much better resolution than like RF or anything other so yeah that's my model 1 Sega Genesis and here's the controller Mega Drive control pad Sega there's nothing from Genesis on it and yeah now I will come to one of my favorite games or some of my favorite games so of course there had to be Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. I never really played Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, so, but I think Sonic 2 is the best game for this Mega Drive. And now there come some games that not so many people of you know. I just don't want to get out everything like Streets of Rage and the games everybody likes. I've got some games that you might don't really know and they're pretty good. The first one is Hellfire. I don't know why it's in this weird box. I have some of the Mega Drive games which are in the red box. It looks like the old beta, beta 2000 boxes. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah, it's the game. And it's you compare it with Arta. You can compare it with Arta. It's pretty good and it has some pretty kick ass music. It's really, really nice game. So if you can get it on a flea market or on eBay for a couple of bucks, just check it out. It's su super gay. Next one is Aladdin. It's yeah. There was also a Super Nintendo version, but the Super Nintendo version wasn't that good. The Mega Drive version is much better, and yeah, also a pretty nice game that made not so many people know. And the last game is Eternal Champions. The most of you will only know Eternal Champions Challenge from the Dark Side for the Sega CD, which had some really disgusting fatalities. This one here also has the fatalities. On the internet, people are writing like, yeah, the normal, the normal Eternal Champions on Mega Drive don't have the fatalities, but I already made it to get a fatality, but there was no blood. Maybe there's some code to turn it on. And it has pretty good music really nice game two player mode really nice also has here some other kind of box don't know why uh, where is the super nintendo super nintendo only had uh, they don't have plastic cases why not yeah the i think that was it for for me and yeah see you next time this time I also don't know what the video will be about and yeah, see you next time. Bye.